All right, this is part two of the video that I made about removing the head off a 2000 Toyota Celica GTS. Anyways, I ran into some problems because obviously I'm not very smart. Got everything on the first video. Got all that done. And, um, well, all those head bolts that I showed you, I mean, a lot of this is going to have to refer back to video number one. But, anyways, I got those bolts out. They look like that. They're pretty, they're pretty long. Um, I suggest you replace them even if they're in good shape, so replace them anyways. But I went to try to take the head off and I managed to get it to lift a little bit. But one thing I didn't realize is that this, hang on, I'll show you. You try to do this yourself, look down inside. Well, kind of can see it. There's a bolt into the head on the chain tensioner well not the tensioner but the chain guide anyways so yeah that's the literally the only bolt holding this head on right now the rest of it's ready to come off like I said it's loose so that just made a whole nother project so if you're having this issue make sure you look down in there and you'll see that bolt in order to do that you get a pull the alternator off which is rather simple the motor mount and this guy right here, which you're gonna have to, once you pull the motor mount off, lift your motor with a jack. That way you can get this out because these side bolts right here are really fucking long and they will not come out past the frame. So you have to lift them up past the frame right there. Anyway, so once you do that, pull the alternator and you know, the water pump pulley has to come off. I'd suggest if you're having a problem with that, wedge a pry bar behind the pulley that way it doesn't turn when you try to loosen nuts. Um, so I did that, got that all off. Alternator, loosen up this AC compressor, which is simple, there's one bolt here and then there's two more down here. My lighting sucks so you can't really see, but anyways, once that's loose, cause there's gonna be, you gotta pull this timing cover off. In order to do that, you gotta move, like I said, loosen the AC compressor cause there's a couple little bolts behind it, behind that wheel. And now that I made it loose, I can kind of get in there. I might have to take it all the way off. I'll try. So, anyways, that's it. That's pretty much it. Well, not really, I guess. A little stressed out, but pull the harmonic balancer off. Um, I use use the um, this worked pretty good. Uh, it's a three quarter inch socket. Came right off. Power steering pump is a bitch. You got to take that off. There's two bolts. See that hole right there. Well, I guess you can see both of them. Anyways, long studs are sitting in those holes. The studs look like this. And you have to literally reach your hand, unless you want to take all the drive shafts out and shit, I wouldn't do that. Reach your hand right up into here. And then you can feel behind, behind the hole. Huh, I said hole. Anyways, so take a little 14 millimeter wrench like that, just a little stubby. That way you can put it up behind there grip the back of the back of the bolt like that and then just use a uh, just regular ratchet and a 14 millimeter socket to do the front part then when you get those nuts off tap it out I'd say a little, little hammer like this but remember to keep your nut flush at the end of it like that that way you don't strip the threads and then I'd recommend using a small punch like one of these guys once you get it down in the hole that way you can get it all the way through anyways once you do that then you seize a pry bar or or something like this right here you can use ed 2.0 rubber uh, rubber hammer there tap the power steering pump down try not to break it because if you do it's gonna suck so once you get that off the power steering then you can go all the way around this timing cover oh, water pump those bolts there oh god damn it anyways you got these little ones here and all the way up and then behind the timing or the um, power steering pump, there'll be a couple more bolts. But once you take that power steering pump off, that's a bitch. Once you take it off, it makes your life a lot easier. 10 millimeter, and this little uh, crankshaft positioning sensor, 10 millimeter, pull that out. And of course, just to make your life easier, you don't have to, but unhook the AC compressor hoses, unless yours is charged, of course. Mine wasn't. You know, everything I have works, but just barely, I guess. Can't even have a car with AC. But anyway, so when I unhooked it, it, it didn't have any um, any pressure, so that was nice. 
I unhooked it from there. I unhooked both of them, as a matter of fact. Just to make it easier. I mean, you don't have to, but it, this shit really gets in the way. And your power steering tank. Of course, I was stupid and it leaked all over the place because I didn't put on any rags. But you might want to take this out because this really gets in the way. I had to cut the hose, for Christ's sakes. And then, you know, here's the hose that I cut. You know, that's your, um, that's one of the hoses. This is the other one. There's two hoses that go on there. I mean, you can do what you want, but I'm just saying it makes life a lot easier to move that shit out of the way, because if not, you're going to get mad. So, anyways, that's where I'm at right now. I hope it does help somebody, because I've watched plenty of YouTube videos myself, and it has helped me, you know, before I started really getting into this. But, um, yeah, that's where it's at. The head, once I get the, um, that cover off, which should come off pretty easily now, it's just 10 millimeter bolt all the way around. On the back side there by the power steering pump, you're going to have three 12 millimeter bolts. Make sure you take those out because obviously you're not going to move this with those in there. But with that being said, <clears throat> forget everything I said on video number one as far as the timing goes. You're going to have to retime. You might as well retime the car anyways. You're already going to be there. See, the first video was so, you know, I, did, I was assuming I didn't have to pull off this cover. But that, that was my bad because I didn't realize that the chain guide had a bolt inside of it into the head. So since I'm down there, I'm just going to retime it anyways. It's simple. The chain already has marks on it. It comes like that from the factory. Some are blue, some are yellow. But just retime it or, you know, whatever. But anyways, I'll, uh, I'll get back to work here and um, make sure you guys say hi to Tommaso, the shop cat. But anyways, I will get back to work and I will upload a third video once I get, once I get the head off. As long as things go to plan. All right. Thank you for watching.